This spring, students at Valhalla will once again have the opportunity to travel abroad. The 2015 trip will include travel to London and Paris. Deciding to go on a trip is a big decision, but the experience of travel can be very rewarding. Here are some of last year's travelers talking about their experiences and how their trip is still impacting their lives. So, so you guys are going to some other country. Are you guys excited? Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. So where are you going? Uh, Italy, Greece, and Turkey. Excited about? Oh, there we go. Uh, not losing any kids and hoping everybody has a good time and we don't have to send anybody home early. What are you most excited to see? Uh, the stores, shopping, the stores. And all of the food. Uh, I never traveled before. I've never been on a plane, so I just wanted to get it all worth it once. <laughs> I was just excited to go with some of my best friends. Uh, it's something you never forget, really. It's just an experience. You learn so much about different cultures, and it's just like you get to meet so many new people, and I just think it's really worth it. Yeah, I mean, I still keep in uh, contact with some of the other schools that we went with. Um, our uh, tour leader was amazing. She was great, and we definitely learned a lot that we wouldn't have otherwise if we had just gone by ourselves. So it definitely pays for itself. It's definitely. Taking a trip like this is truly an adventure filled with nonstop travel and very little sleep. But the opportunities to get a taste of local cuisine and culture is priceless. And you can rest easy knowing safety is always a priority. Uh, EF tours, they definitely take care of you. I didn't feel like I was on the other side of the country. I felt like I was on a field trip that they really took care of us and they made us feel safe and you know, not miss home too much. What was your favorite, what were some of your favorite moments on this trip? Um, getting asked to prom at the Trevi Fountain. <laughs> we just, it was so beautiful there. Pretty much the whole trip was beautiful, but seeing like oceans and seas and trees everywhere and the architecture is just really beautiful. What's it like to be somewhere that you studied about in history? How is that different? Does it make the history more real? It, it gives you chills, I think. Like in Pompeii, you're like, I'm in Pompeii. Like Everything that happened here was at this spot. I think that's the coolest thing. I'm getting chills even thinking about it. Um, it definitely changed my life because it's something I think about every single day of my life. I haven't forgot any of it. Uh, I have all the pictures and I can't wait to, you know, have kids one day and show them what a great, you know, trip I went on and then give them the same opportunity that I got. It's just like so surreal, like going through all your pictures and being like, I've actually been here. It's kind of an amazing feeling. Talk about Mr. Hernandez too. Say something that might, uh, that's truthful and, and will make somebody go on a trip but maybe make them angry that it's in this video. It's, uh, you can talk about the fixer or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Say Mr. Hernandez. Yeah, yeah. Mr. Hernandez made it really interesting and <laughs> had a few game changers that a lot of the students were in on it that uh, kind of made us all chuckle outside of the regular trip. Mr. Hernandez, what, what are you most excited about this trip? If we all get there and, and Robert doesn't go to China. What's the <laughs> For more information, contact Mr. Enz or Mr. Hernandez. Uh, I would just say, while you're there, to try everything. You know, try the food, uh, try and talk to people who live there. You know, really take in the culture of where it is you're going.